all right youtube welcome back to the channel so let's get straight into this video i want to talk about my testimony on how i found christ right well christ found me in 2021 let's just get right into this video because this is going to be a pretty long story and i want to talk about who i was before christ right so before meeting christ in 2021 it was around it was around the third quarter of 2021 so before this happened I always knew like something was different like whenever I would do the things in the world like they would not be fulfilling <clears throat> like I would live in the world I would you know party because I was in college <clears throat> you party you know you would drink you would you know hook up with women do the things in the world that people say are valued right like these things are the best things to do or whatever <clears throat> so i was living like that and then i was following like what you're supposed to do even though the whole time i felt like it wasn't the thing for me i just kept doing it right so my life constantly felt like i was doing things i didn't want to do <clears throat> it's like i kept doing things i knew weren't good for me so it started to like wreck my mental health right because like i hated doing them every day like with like school and everything i only did it because i thought that was the only way right because like that's what we're taught it's only school it's only this this is the only way so we're taught this but the whole time like i was miserable i was like i hate doing this i don't even care about this i don't like this this is this costs a lot of money too it costs a lot of money to go to school but i didn't know what else to do because i was i was looking at my life and i'm like well if i don't go to school then i don't know what's going to end up right so i went i went to school so i was living like that and I was living for the world, even though every time I would live for the world, I would just end up miserable, right? Just end up worse than I was every single time. If you live in sin, you're just going to end up miserable, right? And that's what happens before anyone, before anyone meets Christ, right? You live in the world because that's what you're taught. That's what you're showed. You're showed these are the things that are valued, right? Like money's valued. Money's pretty much the God of the world sexual immorality is valued like everyone's like oh i hooked up with this person I hooked up with this person so that's valued status and everything being a higher status getting getting a lot of materials right doing this doing that the whole time i was doing this i would question i'm like why does it feel so unfulfilling like i haven't heard anyone talk about it but i'm like why does it feel so like unfulfilling it's so a long story short Pretty much I knew something was different because I never I never fit in even before me meeting Christ. I always felt like something was different. I didn't know what was different. I'm just like, why do I feel so different? Like, why do I feel like I'm not supposed to be doing this stuff? Why do I feel like this isn't the truth, right? I always had like this conviction and stuff. I didn't know what it was. So once 2020 hit, the pandemic hit and everything, a lot of things changed because at that time, like I was constantly questioning things. I'm like, I'm like, what am I gonna do with my life? Like, why is everything so unfulfilling? Like, why, like, am I really gonna live like this? Is this what life is gonna be? So, you know, I had millions of different questions, right? So whenever 2020 hit, like pretty much the middle of 2020, I had the so-called spiritual awakening, right? Where I found out pretty much spiritual practices right i didn't hear about christ at this time but i had like a view on spirituality right so i learned a bunch of this like new age stuff like star seeds the universe and everything like that auras so pretty much everything new age right so i was learning about that and that kind of helped me out a little bit because i started to focus more spiritually because that, that's what was lacking that's how i figured out in 2020 i'm like the reason I feel this way is because my life is lacking spiritually, right? Because I'm not living in the spirit. Because right? if you live in the flesh, you're just going to reap death. That's what the Bible says. So that's how I was living. I was just constantly living in like a purposeless type of life, right? Where like I didn't really like enjoy much. I'm just like, this is what life is. Even though I knew there could be better in life, I thought that that was the only way for me. I was like, this is just how it is. That's how it's going to be. So I went through like this spiritual awakening in 2020. But during that during that time too, I learned a lot of things. But then I kept learning about things that aren't necessarily true, right? 
Because new age is, mixes truth and lies. It's not the thing you should follow, right? So learn about that stuff. Learn about manifestation. You, you learn about, you know, angel numbers and everything. You just learn about all this stuff. And whenever whenever you're in new age, you, you get deceived because you start to learn things about these numbers and everything. You see, you know, like 888444. I would see these numbers and everything. But the thing is that drives you crazy, right? <clears throat> that drives you crazy because you you look at, you see these numbers and you think it means something all the time. So for like 2020 and a little bit of 2021, I kind of I kind of tried to follow like this new age teachings and everything, but the whole time it wasn't helping at all. It was kind of just making making it even worse, right? Because I would think I would think like the, the numbers and everything were oh it's like oh um they say oh those are angels, right? But those aren't angels when you see these numbers. They're fallen angels, right? That's what the Bible says, is there's fallen angels on earth. So that was just deception. That was all deception, right? And I knew it was deception because I would see these numbers and my life would get worse. I'm like, hold up, like, why am I expecting good things, but now I'm getting worse, right? So in 2021, I kind of, like, really early in 2021, I kind of just got rid of it all. I was like, I'm not even going to care about this stuff. I'm not going to follow this stuff. It's a waste of time, right? So I got out of that. And in 2021, I was kind of just, kind of just living because in May 2021, I graduated college. So once that happened, I got, I got, I got kind of more like off time, right? Because I just graduated college. But then I knew that for some reason, like I would apply for like jobs and everything. And like, it feels so, like I hated to do it. I'm like, I, I just like, like, I just felt like I was forced to do it. I hated to do it. And I'm like, man, I hate this. Like, this is just constant, just BS, right? Like, this is just making me mad now. Like, this is not anything I want to do. Like, I'm just going to have to tolerate this stuff all the time. And I, so I was going through a lot of things. And and not, not just that, but like, you know, my mental health was suffering and everything. Finances were pretty much down. Especially in, uh, once the middle of 2021 hit, finances were down because I wasn't working or anything. And I was just questioning a lot of things. I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, I can't find a job. I don't want to do this. I have these, I see that I have like certain gifts and everything, but I don't know what to do. And keep in mind, this channel has been around since 2011. I started this channel when I was a kid. I was just posting random videos. But in 2020, I, I posted some videos in this, but they were new age likes. So I deleted pretty much all of them, right? And I was doing that and I always knew I was like creative for something different. I didn't know what it was, but I knew I had like a, interest in youtube i knew that like i wanted to like speak in front of people i just didn't know what it was so i always liked things like youtube speaking with like people and like living like that making money like that you know because that felt like freedom to me i'm like look i could just talk to people and help people out through video and i could also get rewarded for that as well right but in 2020 i started that channel and i'm just like I feel like this, the stuff that I was talking about, because it was new age, I, feel, I was like, it doesn't feel like it's true. So I stopped that. So when it was 2021, just kind of stopped all that. And I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. So once it hit, like, later in 2021, like, I think it was around, like, September, all of a sudden, I just kept hearing about Christ everywhere. Like, I, I was seeing it all over my phone. Like I, I opened up a TikTok again and all of a sudden all I saw were Christ based videos about God, right? I heard about God and Christ. I didn't hear about the universe, angel numbers, blah, 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 and all that stuff. All it was, all it was, was Christ. So because I started seeing that, then I got it, then I got an interest in it. And I was like, okay, but this is the truth. Like, I mean, it says Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. And then the Bible would say, the devil is here to deceive, right? And the, de the devil comes as an angel of light. And that's when it made that's when it made sense to me when I look back on it because I was like, oh, I was following this false light, right? When really it was demonic, it wasn't true. I was like, no wonder my life has been going that way because I started to, because a lot of these new age people they speak about manifestation and they <clears throat> put money really high and like materials really high, and selfish interest really high, which is the Bible doesn't talk about any of that. The Bible is the opposite of that, right? So then Jesus showed me, he's like, you've been getting deceived about this. This, this was deception, right? Because look at what it was turning you into, right? And I didn't realize it at first, but I was like, yeah, I'm really just caring about 
wealth the whole time. We're really caring about self-interest, right? And new age also feeds your pride, which is a sin. It makes you feel like you're a god, right? Some people even say they're gods. And the Bible says you're a god, so it doesn't mean literally like you could just do whatever you want. That's not what it means. It just means you're a child of children of God, right? So it's little g gods, but you still you still die, right? You're not immortal. You're not all powerful, right? So in 2021, I was just like, oh yeah, new age. I don't follow new age. Like that's all BS. So I was following Christ, right? And then all types of scriptures were coming to me. Like, I've chosen you before, before you were born, right? When you were in the womb, before you built the foundation of the earth, you've been chosen the whole time. So I was reading about Jesus and Jesus is the one that's doing it, right? All the new age stuff was lies. So I was, I was following things. I'm sure this is, Anyone that's watching this video, I'm sure that has happened to you too. But all that stuff is truth mixed with mixed with lies. It's not complete truth, right? So it deceives you. If it's not completely true, you're going to get deceived. So that happened to me. So I was reading about Christ and everything. And I was like, okay, okay, this is like, it's getting better. It's getting better. And then all of a sudden, well, it was like the end of 2021 in December or like, yeah, like around December, I hadn't posted a video on this channel. It has been like 10 months, right? And then randomly, like a video just starts moving up, like in the thousands of thousands of views, just randomly. And I was like, wait, why is my channel moving, right? So it got like 200 subscribers or something, I remember, without me posting anything. And I was like, wait, what's going on to the channel? So then I decided to get back into the channel and then turn it from New Age to Christ based, right? So I did that with the new information I learned and everything, and then changed the name. It used to be No Limit Being, then turned to the elect of God. Because I figured out that that came from God, that came from God, right? So that happened, that's how the channel started to move, 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 move up really quickly. And that's how I knew that God blessed me with the channel because it just, he randomly brought my attention back to it. And now that I look back on it too, he also used new age to get me to him as well. Because he knew that I was going to look at it and find out that it's deception and go to him, right? So he used that to show that that's deception, right? Because if he didn't use that, I, would, I wouldn't know if it's false or not. If it was fake or not. So he used that just to get me closer to me. Because before new age too, I, w I wasn't really necessarily spiritual. I mean, I, I knew I had gifts. I knew I was like empathetic. I knew I was like intuitive, but I never really paid much attention to it, right? Because I was living in the world, I didn't try to pay attention to it. But I just knew something was different. So yeah, he he blessed me with his channel and the stuff that I've the stuff that I've talked about and the stuff you guys have told me and everything has just been wild to me, right? Because when I started this channel, I would just speak whatever came to my spirit. I would just speak about it. And like sometimes I would post and I'll be like, <clears throat> what am I even talking about, right? I'll question it. But then every time I would question it, right? I would hear, I would see you guys say the complete opposite, right? Like it's genuinely like helped you out, like helped you out greatly. So I was like, I was like, really? Am I really just helping people? Because I thought I was just making videos. Like I didn't think I was like <clears throat> truly like knowledgeable about it. I just knew I was supposed to be making videos but I didn't truly know like what was going on I was just kind of following the calling just following the steps like God would say just focus on the channel like I was just feeling my spirit just focus on the channel focus on the channel just do that just keep posting and everything and that's what changed that's what changed my whole life too because it's it's also correlated with the dream because the dream my ever since I was a kid I was like I always wanted to like post videos for some reason I was always into YouTube and like you can see, if you check the age of this channel, this channel was made in 2011 and I have some random videos from like 10 years ago, right? Just always knew I wanted to do it. So the fact that God proved to me that that was true, that that dream was from God with his channel, that's, that's what the craziest thing is. I'm like, God is so good, man. Like he's truly good. Like it's, it's absolutely insane what God could do. It's absolutely insane. So after after Christ came to me, 
I completely changed as a person. Like I'm still the same person, but I don't do the same things anymore because I, I read about sin, right? And what sin does to you. Sin sends you to hell, right? Sin destroys your life. If you focus on sin, you're going to be empty all the time. You're going to be not fulfilled. You're, gonna, you're just going to ruin your life, right? If all you do is sin, you're just going to reap death, right? And if you live in the spirit, you reap eternal life. And that's what God showed me. And that, <clears throat> that's where God said I was lacking because... I wasn't living in the spirit and like it was obvious to me once I read the scriptures I was like okay this makes a hundred percent sense like this is this is the truth right this is what I've been doing no wonder I've been feeling this way <clears throat> so I repented of my sins and I asked God for forgiveness right and believed in Christ as Lord truly believed in Christ as Lord and that's where things just started to change like even my like desire changed. Like I used to care about things like a nice car. I used to care about things like a, like all these material things that don't matter, like certain types of clothes, brands and everything. Cause like the world tells you these things are of value. And then God showed me that none of these things are of value, right? They're all fleeting. They, they, they don't have any value. The only one that has value is God, right? The world is fleeting. So he showed me that and I completely changed. And I, I didn't even realize how much I changed. He was changing me the whole time. I'm like, when I look back at myself, even just seeing like older pictures, I'm just like, it feels like I'm seeing like a whole completely different person. So I had like rapid growth with Christ. He completely like transformed me, right? I'm not saying like I'm perfect and everything, still struggle with many different things. Still struggle with certain desires and everything, still struggle with all these things. But what matters is just your obedience to God, right? Because you know, anytime you succumb to whatever these sins are and everything, you always regret it. It's always regret. That's what God says to flee from sin, right? Don't sin. Repent, repent of your sins. Just turn away from it. Because it's not going to reap anything good. It's only going to reap death, right? So this is, this is how... This is kind of how I was before before Christ came to me and now this is who I am after. And if anyone if anyone like knew me before Christ and then they see me now, they're just like, this is a different person. Like, this person has changed completely. This person is, is a totally different person, right? And I even feel like a whole different person. And the Bible says, whenever Christ comes to us, we're made new, a whole new creature. We're washed away from our past, right? We're completely new. And that's what Jesus did to me. It made me a completely new creation, a completely different person, pretty much. A completely spirit-living person. A person who lives in the spirit. A person who doesn't succumb to their flesh. You deny your flesh, right? And when I look back on it, the whole, the whole thing that I was desiring was God. That's what I was desiring the whole time. That's why I had no fulfillment. Because if you, if you don't have a God in your life, I mean, if you don't have God in your life, Jesus Christ... You're, you're just never going to be fulfilled. Like your life is never going to reach true fulfillment. No matter what you have, if you have everything in the world, you're still going to be empty, right? This is why you hear about a lot of people who are wealthy. They pretty much have everything, and they're still empty. They still struggle and everything. The only thing that's ever going to fulfill the void in your spirit is God. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that makes you feel whole, right? And that's what he did to me. And glory be to God, so... But yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. <clears throat> but this is kind of the testimony I have with how I found Christ, right? And when I say how I found Christ, it was pretty much like I had, I had a, I was looking for something, but I, I didn't know. But it's like I almost ran into him because I was seeing, hearing about Christ everywhere. Like everywhere. I randomly got just <clears throat> really high interest to read the Bible, just strong interest to read it. And I started reading it. I read so many scriptures that completely hit at home and I'm like, this isn't, this is no joke, right? Like, this is the truth. So that's what happened to me. So when I found Christ, that's when everything started to make sense. I'm like, okay, this makes a lot more sense. Like This, this world makes a lot more sense now. Myself makes a lot more sense now. The way people act makes a lot more sense now. Like everything just started to make sense. Before it was just like a big question. I'm like, this is just odd. Like something's weird about this world. I just didn't know what it was. It's like something's weird. Like I was like, how do people do these certain things? And like, why <clears throat> do these 
do they not say anything or they just tolerate these things and and I, I used to see people acting fake all the time like they act like the things are they're doing is making them happy like they would force happiness into themselves but the whole time they're not happy so I just kept seeing these things and I'm like this world is just absolutely crazy I'm like these people are insane right like people are just doing things that are completely insane but then once once I found Christ and it all just completely made sense I'm like no wonder people act this way. I'm like, no wonder people aren't fulfilled. No wonder people aren't able to do these these things. No wonder people act this way. It's like you're, you're just lacking God. You're not living in the spirit. You're supposed to live in the spirit. That's the only way to have a life. And the world tells you to live in your flesh, right? The Bible says the devil is a God of this world. The, the devil is always just saying, live in your flesh, you know, please your pride, please your pride please your lust, please all these things, you know, indulge, indulge, indulge. The devil's always like, indulge, it doesn't matter, right? But every time you indulge and do all these things and live in sin, you always reap death. You always regret it. You're always worse off than you were. And that's what I would always question. I'm like, I'm doing these things that the world values so highly and they, I just feel worse every single time I do it. Like, it feels like a waste of time, right? But yeah, I could, I could make this video even longer just want to try to keep it not too long, right? To keep your attention and everything. I don't want to make it too long. But yeah, this is pretty much what happened. I'm a completely different person now. Life just feels a lot better now with Christ. It feels a whole lot better. It doesn't, it doesn't feel so confusing. It doesn't feel so just weird. It, it feels a lot better. Like it actually has a structure now, right? It actually has truth like I had answers I had questions answered right all the questions I had I had answered by God they were all answered they all made sense <clears throat> but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video of course if you enjoyed don't forget to like <clears throat> don't forget to comment if you want to comment and if you're not subscribed already don't forget to subscribe if you're if you want to subscribe all right God bless you guys and I'll see you in the next video